Well, I think we're lucky enough here on The Rock to have many sharp young minds and joining us now are a prime example of that. They're part of this year's Young Enterprise competition, a team called Quest, who are creating a children's book traveling through Gibraltar's history with the help of an ape named Mo the Macaque. So thank you very much for joining us, Sophie, Amit and Julian. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Quest and, and how you guys got started. We started off as just some friends and we started creating a book which came to us from one of our little cousins who wanted a history book, so we decided we'd make one. Um, the story is of its starts in 1704, where it's the discovery of Gibraltar. Well, it starts a bit further back, well, yeah, about the, the Neanderthal yeah. period, mm -hmm. and it goes all the way to modern-day Gibraltar, so we cover the whole spectrum. Yeah, mm -hmm. and to, in order to make it more accessible to children and less daunting, because history can be seen as quite hard for some people. We synthesised Mo's story into every single page, so hopefully as they're travelling with Mo, it becomes a bit less scary and hopefully we can educate more people, not just children, mm. on Gibraltar's history. And Mo is uh, the macaque there that you can see on the front, yeah? Yep. Because the graphics look really good as well. Thank you very yeah. much. So he's just like uh, travelling along through time in Gibraltar's history. I mean, you must have learnt yourselves a lot about Gibraltar that maybe you didn't know. Yeah, doing this we learnt a lot from this experience. I mean, we've learnt more about each other as um, we know we've become better friends. And we've learned more about Gibraltar's history as well. We've learned more. Yeah, it's been a pretty good experience overall, I think. How hard was it to summarize these like, massive <laughs> historic events into one page and a couple of paragraphs? That must have been difficult. Very hard, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was really difficult because there's a massive abundance of information online and in books and also what we've learned in school. But what I remember at least is history being, I used to love history, but it used to be quite hard to remember everything, so we've tailored it to the specifications which we got from the government of every single first school, so we've, make, we've made sure every single event they'll cover is in there so we can help them along the way. So we're looking at age ranges, what, about six and ten? Six about ten. middle school, but anyone mm. can read it, really, yeah. because history is kind of a universal thing. I mean, we're not putting an age limit or such onto it. Like, um, obviously, it's children-based, it's for children, but, I mean, anyone that wants to learn more about the history of Gibraltar can read into it and understand and have a good time at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, now, there is a big team of you. Is 11 of you? Yeah, yeah. 11. Um, how did you work out who was going to do what and how are you working as a team? Because with so many different voices and so many different <laughs> opinions, it might be a bit difficult to, to see eye to eye. Eye to eye sometimes. Well, we each found our own individual strengths mm -hmm. and we kind of applied that into um, our, um, the roles which we got given. I mean, I like art and, you know, designing, so I took on the role as operations director, well, co-operations director, and that obviously included illustrating the book, mm -hmm. well, co-illustrating the book. Mm -hmm. And yeah, basically that. No. Amit, what was your role? Me and Sophie are co-managing directors as we both uh, did business studies for for our GCSEs and we, we feel like we can help the team progress that. So you're thinking about like profit margins <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that yeah. kind of thing? All of the behind the scenes. And yeah. So how does that come into play? Are you going to give it to, I don't know, bookshops? Are you going to try and give it to the schools? How are you trying to make profit from... Yeah, we're not. We right. have... Um, we've had some um, shops... Uh, well, no, we have approached some shops. Yeah, WH you know. Smith, for example. Yeah. We've made a deal with them. They're okay. going to be selling our book in um, their shops. Uh, also talking with the government to maybe, you know, get them to give some of our books to the schools. Also the Heritage Trust and we're having we're speaking to Blands as well to put it in different terminals, the cruise terminal, the cable car and all these places. And do you have like a, a target or an aim of how much you want to raise or, just or how many books you want to sell? <laughs> just to reach for the stars. All right now we... That's good, I like that, that's yeah, nice and positive. Good, okay. Right now we've... <laughs> we've... Uh, when we've published like 350 books, so that's our first um, aim for now. And um, after we hope we can accomplish that and like Julian said, read for the stars. And, <laughs> and I know you can't start telling till the 30th? No, we think? can't. And so when the what's, competition a, what's the time frame? Starts. When does it end? Like how long have you got to make profit between the 30th and whenever it ends? The final is in June, so we have from the 30th of January till June, as well as a way of promotion, we're hoping to have a treasure hunt on the 2nd of February in Alameda Garden, so anyone can come and there'll be prizes, and pr prizes involved. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get some recognition from there as well. We've just been looking at this... Um, Re Referendums. ...word puzzle mm -hmm. in between. 
parades. The jukebox, and yeah. This book, you're right, is for Kelly's all ages. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we mentioned Mo the Macaque and the, and the design of it, um, but how did you come up with the character for the book? We found that the monk, a monk here, an ape, is the emblem of Gibraltar, really, and they've been here since God knows when. And we thought that by having the monkey represent Gibraltar and Crest, it would also serve if we, if we do expand in the future to the UK, we could always have that as a remembrance of Gibraltar of, of, of our home. Mm. And if you do more books, I suppose Mother yeah. Macaque can always kind of mm. yeah, carry the story through. Yeah. Along. Mm -hmm. And have you sized up your competition this year? Are you confident? <laughs> Um, well, modest, let's just put it <laughs> <laughs> It was really good competition. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, well, you said more, more teams than ever this year? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of teams this year. Mm -hmm. And the Com competition is maddening, let's just put yeah. that. And what's the, uh, what's, what's the prize at the end of it? What does the winning team get? We get to go to England for the mm -hmm. final, to London, I think. For yeah, the final. to compete against the other, the other teams in the UK. Right, from across mm -hmm. the UK, okay. And yeah. also it's all the overall success of the experience, that's yeah. the main yeah. prize. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Um, you've also got quite a strong social media presence that I see you're building up. So how can people find out more about you on social media? They can check out our Facebook page, our Instagram page, our LinkedIn page. And we also have a Snapchat. You can add our Snapchat. <laughs> and through there, we post about special events. We try and link our product in like it's a book. We use famous authors like Oscar Wilde, uh, T.S. Eliot. We've used different borders to try and like keep the same theme all the time. We try and, not inspiration as speeches, but speeches about reading, because the recommended time for a child to read every day is 20 minutes to enhance their learning. So hope, that's why we didn't want to make our book very long, because children don't really have a long concentration span. Mm. So hopefully this can be the 20 minutes of reading mm -hmm. for that yeah, day. Yeah, and that can help. It reduces the chances of catching diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's. It's been scientifically, scientifically proven, so. Mm -hmm. And to Brilliant. find you, it's Quest YE? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you very much and good luck with the competition. Thank you yeah, very much. Good luck. Hope it goes well. Mm -hmm.